Hi, thanks for watching. In this video, Ty Brannaman is back once again talking about Watt's Law, and he demonstrates it in a really great and simple way, not focused so much on the math, much more focused on the relationships between volts and amps. So big thanks to Ty. Please subscribe to his channel. The link to it is down in the description for this video. So here we go, Ty Brannaman talking about a simple way to think about Watt's Law. So let's do this little test here, and let's check how many watts we're gonna have with this heater right here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this out the way, and this, does anybody know what this device is? Shockwave. Good, that's one, one, it's one name? Anybody know the nerdy name of this? It is an electronic conversion device. It converts electrical energy, watts, and the heat energy, BTUs. It's just a conversion device. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this into my little adapter here. And what's cool about this adapter is it gives us a place to test voltage and it gives us a place to test amperage. And if it's a very low amount of amperage, we could wrap it around 10 times to give us a stronger magnetic field so we can still read it. We're just gonna be using this one. We're gonna plug this in and we're gonna turn this on. What we can do is we can measure how many watts it has. Amperage doesn't tell us how much electricity we're using. And this is important. Amperage does not tell us how much electricity we're using. It's part of the equation. You'll see a lot of people argue that, oh, it's pulling more amps, it's using more electricity. But what's the voltage? Both of them together is wattage. So if I check the amperage, set it for amps. All right, so we have 8.46 amps of electricity. There's a speed of electron flow, the current, the amperage, the intensity is 8.46. Does that tell me the power? No, what else do I need? The voltage. Voltage. So what we're going to do is turn it to John Travolta here. V voltage, electrical pressure, potential difference, electromotive force push. Let's take these fancy. Oh goodness gracious! Oh, no. We're going to need some other. Uh, we actually need leads. We need leads. We need points. So yeah. here, this makes me disappointed. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm catching on slow to these jokes. Now I've been. Now I've been reappointed. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is we've already checked the amperage. Now we're going to check the voltage. Oops. Now you have to find it with those little leads. Yeah, they're a little small. All right, so we had 114 volts. 114 volts. We may have a calculator. Yes! Calculator. My teacher told me, you're not going to have a calculator with you every day, and she was wrong because I have a calculator with me every day. So, 114.2 <laughs> volts, and our amperage is... Nice. Let's call it eight point. Just, let's round it to eight. That'll be that'll be good. It's bouncing around there. All right. So what? How many watts do we have? Nine hundred uh, thirteen point uh, six. Nine hundred and thirteen watts of energy of electrical energy. Nine hundred and thirteen watts. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Nine hundred and thirteen watts. So because we have a whole lot of watts on here, do you think the resistance is going to be high or low? Let's find out. Somebody? Bring Let's check it. I think it'll be pretty low. Yeah, it's probably pretty low. We have 13.8. 13.8 ohms of resistance, right? So let's try something else. This right here. You guys know what this is? My dad is always talking about uh, wanting to play golf, so I, I got this nine iron here, oh. right? And so... Uh, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't think that was funny at all. So let's check the resistance of this first. Let's check the resistance here. How many ohms do I have? Oh, we got about 13 ohms of resistance. So we're going to be close to the same. So let's check the amperage. We'll do the amps. So our amperage is showing 8.8 .8 amps. What else do we need to find the power? Voltage. So let's turn it to volts. No, I've, I've done no, this. Thanks. It's your turn. Great. Don't be scared. It probably won't shock you. Probably. Mm -hmm. There's nothing hot around either. I'm right here. No, oh, my bad. <laughs> Woo. 113? 113, so times 113? 994.4. 994.4? So which one put out more heat? This one. Yes, so this is nothing more than an electrical conversion device. It converts electrical energy, watts, and the heat energy. BTU. We're going to do BTU here in a little bit. Cooking, yeah. But it is 
electrical conversion device. They are converting electrical energy into heat energy. And we can calculate it. Now the next thing is, when we check voltage, if I disconnect my load here and I check my voltage static, we'll do the same one, do the same point here. Notice what our voltage is here. Did our voltage go up or down? It went up. It went up. What does that mean? What did you just do? Oh, just remove the load. I removed the load, yes. So you don't have, you have less resistance, now you have more. But I disconnected my resistance altogether. No Let's, resistance. I don't like comparing electricity to water too often because it gets complicated when we talk about switches. But let's say that you're taking a shower and then somebody else opens the water outside, the water faucet's outside, and somebody else starts flushing com the commodes. What happens to your water pressure? It goes up, it builds up. What's so a commode? It goes down. <laughs> Toilet. Oh, okay. <laughs> it goes down, so it goes down. So as I'm having a flow of power, a lot of times we'll see the voltage will drop, especially if the wire size isn't big enough to handle that current. This is very important when you have air conditioning. If you have a customer that's never had air conditioning before and you add air conditioning, the wires from the telephone pole, from the pole to the panel may not be big enough. So now they have this AC unit and this AC unit's kicking on and it's using all this energy. There'll lots of times be a voltage drop through the rest of the house. That voltage drop could cause a brownout condition and can cause other electronic components to start failing. And when that unit shuts off, there could be a slight little spike as well. So this is important. The wire size coming to the house, the wire size in the house is very important, not just for safety issues, but to make sure that we have the correct voltage to our loads. Another important thing is when that voltage changed, we wanna make sure when we're checking watts or voltage, we wanna check it while it's running. For example, I've had a customer before and they had six different people come out and they couldn't find out why they were burning out going through compressors. What I found out, we checked the voltage while the system started up. It had 240 volts, that's 235. Anyways, the system started up and it dropped down to 100 and I think it was 180 when it started up and then it climbed back up again. We found out there was an issue with the wire sizing being too low when that system first started up, it was having brownout conditions, having a hard time getting enough voltage to start. So when you're checking watts, it's important to check it while it's under loads, not just simply checking my volt standard, but checking my volts while my load is hooked up. Because now right here, you can see it happen. You can see the voltage climb back up. Big thanks to Ty. Reminder, go subscribe to his channel. You won't be disappointed. The link is down in the description. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.